All right, brace yourself for another round of windy days ahead. The blustery weather caught the attention of a WCCO viewer who emailed us wondering if it's been more windy than usual. How is wind created and has it been more windy than a typical winter? Good question. Here's Jeff Wagner. You clearly are prepared for the wind today. How did you do so? Yeah, I wear like four layers on top. Has it seemed more windy than usual to you this winter? Uh, it has. Um, it also seems colder as well. From our windswept frozen lakes to the blustery tunnels downtown, that frigid gust hitting your face has been passing through often. Has it been more windy than usual this winter? Oh yes, it's been a windy winter. Kenny Blumenfeld is a senior climatologist with the DNR. Not only has the average wind speed been higher, but we've also had more gusty days. In an average Minnesota winter, he says there are three to four days when the wind gusts are above 40 miles per hour. This season, there have been nearly 10. And we've had a couple days where the winds are over 50 miles an hour. Do you have any idea how wind is created? Uh, a little bit. It's got to do with high pressure and low pressure. The high pressure comes in and creates the wind. I don't know. They're both on the right track. Yeah, so wind is really what we call a balance of forces. It's just pressure differences equalizing themselves. Kind of pushing back and forth at one another. Right. While it might appear as though the air outside is infinite, it's actually contained. Kind of like what we have here in this terrible prop. And as I apply pressure to one part of this, it actually moves the air from where I'm applying the pressure to somewhere where there's less pressure. That's exactly how wind works too. Those dueling pressures are low and high, often seen on weather maps like these. High pressure happens from cold air. Because cold air is very dense. Making it like heavy in a way. It, make, it makes it seem heavy so it kind of falls to the earth. Low pressure is associated with warm air. The warmer air will tend to rise and it has to be replaced by colder air. Thus creating the wind. And sometimes as you go up and over mountains or across a lake, you'll find uh, pretty significant pressure differences, and that's why you have wind on almost any day. Jeff Wagner. The only way it affects me is I just dress warmer. WCCO 4 News. And the high number of gusty days this winter is thanks to the extreme roller coaster temperatures swings that we have been experiencing, which was actually a good question that someone asked us to do last yes, week. Yes, and we did. If you have a good question for Jeff, you can email him by visiting WCCO.com links.